And today's question is about the Browns' secondary and Greedy Williams. Is he the answer on the opposite side of Denzel Ward? Of course, John Dorsey made Greedy Williams the second-round pick. You know, the parallels between Greedy Williams and Grant Delpit uh, are very interesting. Dorsey traded up to get Greedy Williams in the second round, uh, actually traded up to the pick that the Browns traded out of, I believe, uh, to, to get Grant Delpit, uh, both out of LSU. But Greedy Williams last year as a rookie – uh, you know, had some good things, had some bad things, seemed to put some of those tackling issues to rest. We'll get into all of that. For me, I, I see no reason for the Browns to not at least give Greedy Williams that shot to continue starting across from Denzel Ward. It just makes too much sense for a guy going into his third, his second season, uh, was a highly touted prospect as a guy you really wanted. Some people really thought he was he was one of the top corners in the draft last year, much like some people thought Grant Delpit was a first-round talent this year. Uh, I, I just think there's no good reason, Scott, to not give Greedy Williams that opportunity this year uh, to kind of build on what he did a season ago. Sure, and I think the, the moves that the Browns have made this offseason would indicate that they probably feel the same way. You know, they didn't go out and sign uh, anybody who is coming in that you assume is going to challenge for that starting spot. Now there could be competition again. It could be Greedy Williams and Terrence Mitchell and maybe Kevin Johnson, who they signed this off season uh, fighting for that spot across from Denzel Ward. You know, it was Mitchell and Williams last year, at least, you know, at the beginning of camp seemed to be the, the two competing there, but um, you know, maybe Williams isn't the, the proclaimed starter right away, but I think that, yeah, certainly he did well enough last year to, not come into this season and think, you know, to think that maybe they had a bust pick or something. I don't think anybody looks at Greedy Williams that way. Uh, but it, it wouldn't surprise me if there's competition. I know Joe Woods hasn't really addressed Greedy or even Denzel directly yet. You know, he's talked about how excited he is with his young, talented cornerbacks, which, you know, Greedy Williams would fall into that category. Um, so maybe that's one of the reasons why he's excited. Uh, but you know, he, he had the kind of season I think maybe you expect you expect out of a rookie. Not everybody's going to have Denzel Ward's rookie year, you know, just like we've, we've talked about. Not every lineman's going to be Joe Thomas <laughs> out of the gate. Not everybody's going to, you know, hit the ground running like, uh, like Denzel Ward. And I think Greedy Williams, the big knock on him or the big question mark, like you said, was his tackling. And, and it wasn't so much that he could or couldn't do it. It seemed to be like an effort thing. Like, does he have the desire to do it? And he had the best, if you're into – pro football focus grades he had the best tackling grade of any cornerback on the Browns last year so you know he he seemed to put that to rest and I think uh coming into this season uh he's definitely somebody who either starts he, he's either the guy to beat or he's he's right there competing with Mitchell and, and like I said maybe maybe Kevin Johnson if you're Greedy Williams you know, as, as the season wears on and Denzel Ward starts to look like Denzel Ward again, because I did think he got off to a little bit of a slow start last year. That ball's yeah. maybe going to be coming your way a little more. And team the quarterbacks are going to pick on you a little more. Any good quarterback is going to say, if I, who am I going to throw to, Denzel Ward or Greedy Williams? And, I, you know, I think that that's, that's something that he's going to have to deal with, especially if Ward continues to, to take those steps forward and become that, you know, top, top cornerback in the league you know, quarterbacks are going to come out and say, all right, let's pick on Greedy Williams and make him prove it. Oh, yeah. And, and well, I think one of the things that's working in his favor is having Joe Woods as your defensive coordinator and his extensive background coaching defensive backs. You know, he's Rondé Barber, Antoine Winfield, Darren Sharper, Charles Woodson. These are all guys that Woods has been around. So you can kind of tell, you know, everybody in your defensive backfield, look, this is how some of the best in the game have done it. And also, you know, we know Woods is big on film work and we don't know, you know, we don't know what Grady Williams was like in the classroom necessarily, but uh, it's clear that Joe Woods is big on on getting the most out of out of watching film. So maybe having Woods there is something that that you know bumps him up to the level that you know John Dorsey had hoped he would you know he would eventually be. 